Kibat is in intense financial distress. U.S. investors just saved the company from imminent default by buying $49 million in new shares, but the company remains at risk. Current liabilities are twice current assets. The company's Suzhou subsidiary went bust and ceased operating in 2019, and CBAT has disclosed that the Suzhou subsidiary's accounts have been frozen by a court. Staff are suing CBAT for non-payment of salary. The Nanjing subsidiary appears to be an abandoned building, and the Dalian company faces half a dozen lawsuits for non-payment of debt. The company and its top executives have been restricted in China from flying on airplanes, staying in star-rated hotels, undertaking capital construction, or otherwise spending any more than is absolutely necessary to keep the company running. A former executive told us that staff are leaving as soon as they can to find new jobs. Three pages of the most recent 10K contain a litany of outstanding cases, and the Chinese documents for company subsidiary Dalian BAK list no fewer than 65 legal proceedings. Is this just a weak company in an ocean of oversupplied rechargeable batteries? CBAT seemed to have better prospects back in 2016 and 17 when some car makers would use bundles of their small cylindrical batteries in packs, but this sort of battery, never a big portion of the market, was deemed too dangerous for passenger vehicles. It seems that CBAT went back to selling to companies making mobile power packs and other small devices, but even these companies told us they were buying less and less from CBAT. The debt problem CBAT is encountering could be the death throes of a company that tried and failed to go into electric vehicles.